Amen. How many of you want to praise the Lord on today? We lift our hands to give him glory. We lift our hands to give him praise. Amen. We thank God for our young people on this morning who are doing such a phenomenal job giving God praise on this morning and setting the tone for our worship on today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. We ask now you pay attention to our screens as we prepare for our morning announcements on today. Happy birthday to everybody born in the month of August. Please stand and be recognized. Sing it happy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. God bless you. Get to know the professionals and businesses among us. Macedonia Resource Directory is now available in a handy booklet. Pick up your copy today. Join Pastor Barnes today at 3 p.m. at New Faith Christian Church for Pastor Jacqueline Montgomery's 19th anniversary. Calling all boys ages 5 through 17. Do you want to have fun, make lifelong friends, go camping, and learn leadership skills? Come join Cub and Boy Scouts Troop 603 on Wednesday, September 11th at 7 p.m. in Lias Hall. Please contact Smitha Raphael, Sonia Thomas, or Natalie Sanders. The troop is also in need of additional male workers to assist with the boys. It's that time once again, Children's Chapel Startup. Chapel is for all elementary and middle school kids, grades K through 8. We have outstanding teachers who are excited about sharing the word of God with your children. Come worship with us and bring a friend. Macedonia Women's Fellowship Ministry presents Kingdom Women Conference 2019 Restore a New and Improved You, September 21st and 22nd, hosted by Lady Anita Barnes, featuring guest speakers, Pastor La Fiesta Brown, Latanya Smith, Pastor Sharon Riley, Anissa Mack, and Elder Kathy Pointer. There will also be a team summit facilitated by Nat Jones. Hope to see you there. Let me, let me tell you why faith is important. Don Jones said a statement years ago I never forgot. This church is like a tree in a bucket. A tree in a bucket who do not have a root system to expand and grow will stunt its growth. You, you're not gonna, it will never reach its potential. And so when we start looking at the services we need to provide, we need to look at the membership's need for uh, uh, senior facility, library, uh, administrative spaces, classroom. We, we, we are limited with that. We can now have the monument or the facility or the physical facility. And, and all of this is done in sync with the great commission of the church, which I, I'm determined not to lose focus on. I'm very determined. Today is Donation Day. Let's be determined to reach phase two. Pray, ask God what you should do. Have a willing heart, give generously. Remember, it is not equal giving, it is equal sacrifice. Those are the announcements for this morning. God bless you. Amen. We thank God for those announcements. We want to uh, highlight just a couple things very quickly. Uh, these birthdays like this, you got to acknowledge and make special. Uh, today, uh, Sister Moore is celebrating her 95th birthday. Yeah. Amen. Thank God for 95 years. 96. Okay, they put 95 on here. I'm sorry, mother. We don't want to take that away. 96 years. Amen. 96. I want to thank God for every one of those. That's a tremendous blessing to show you the power of God active in your life. Amen. Thank you, Sister Moore. 
uh, very quickly to read this card to Pastor Barnes, Deacons, and our Macedonia church family with sincere thanks and appreciation. Uh, the family of the late Juanita DeVore would like to acknowledge and thank all of you for the flowers, phone calls, and prayers during this difficult time since we lost our mother and Nana. We are grateful for every kind word and compassionate act. This is truly the place where love makes the difference. This is from Sean Taylor and Deuce Desisure. Amen. Want to continue to keep Sister Desisure lifted up in prayer. Amen. And her family as well. Want to say we had a tremendous revival during this past week. Amen. It was phenomenal. It was a wonderful time where we could hear the word of God, the lectures, and the, the evangelists were all phenomenal, and we thank God for that. And if you weren't here, here's something that you can catch for the very first time. If you go to our YouTube page, they've actually uploaded all the sermons and the lectures from the week. So if you go to the YouTube page, you can find out what you missed. I'm, I'm a little old school. I like to be in the building. But you can catch the word and you don't want to miss that mighty word. So please, you can go to our YouTube page and check that out and share it with friends to let them know the mighty time we had during the past week in the Lord. Again, our women's ministry that's coming up, their conference is coming up September 21st, 22nd. One of their featured speakers, Elder Pointer, uh, who will be coming, she is actually the mother of Pastor Philip Pointer, who is our evangelist for day one and day two. So she will be a part of that conference. So you want to make sure that you register for that. You can register online or on our app or after church today to make sure that you are a part of that as well. And something, I'm going to do this very quickly. I want to get this off my heart because I started to write a sermon about it, but God didn't let me. But I just wanted to say something because over the last 10 days or so, the world has gone crazy and it's gone crazy over a chicken sandwich. For those of you who don't know, they went out and, uh, and again, this sandwich isn't new. It's actually been around for months. But because people start testifying about how great it is, for those of you who don't know, talking about Popeyes. Popeyes introduced a chicken sandwich, and people have been losing their mind over this chicken sandwich. There are 30-minute waits in Popeyes to get a chicken sandwich. Popeyes has shut down running out of chicken and bread because so many people are asking for a chicken sandwich. And it was all because a couple people said it was good. Somebody went online and then challenged people to compare Chick-fil-A to Popeyes. And in the last 10 days, people have lost their mind over a chicken sandwich. That's when it perked my homiletical curiosity. Because it made me wonder, why isn't there a line at church? For people to come to church on Sunday morning lost their minds over a chicken sandwich. But here's why. Here are the things, the key things that are about Popeyes that are a little different about Christians. First thing that people did about Popeyes is they, were to they told other people. They had a passionate testimony. Part of the reason we don't have people waiting at church is because we don't tell anybody about the God we serve. Second thing, not only did they have a passionate testimony, but when people went to Popeyes, evidently, the sandwich is really good. I haven't been yet because I don't have patience to stand in line 30 minutes for a chicken sandwich. But evidently, the sandwich for most people delivered on a promise. Don't you know God will deliver on his promise? Here's the last and final thing. Even when we tell people, part of the reason they're turned off from church is because the lives that we live are not congruent with our testimony. Saw a tweet earlier this week where it said parents were praying for their children to come back to church, but they didn't realize that their children were rejecting the religion that allowed them to be nice at church, but nasty at home. If we want people to come to church, we need to tell them with a passion about the God that we serve. And the God that we serve will definitely come through on his promise. And when we live the lives that we talk about, we'll have people running the church 
asking, how can I get some of what you got? But we let people run the Popeyes for a chicken sandwich. So today, I encourage you, share with somebody the good news about Jesus Christ, what he's done for your life. Live your life that way, and people will come flocking to church. May God bless you, and I'll see y'all in line at Popeyes later today. Amen.